Hello! In this tutorial video, we will be speaking about shipping and bulk shipping. So, let's first go to our order page and find the order that we would like to ship. For this case, let's take this order as an example. On the right side, next to the actions, we will find the green button called Ship Order. After we click on it, this pop-up will appear, and on the left side, you will see the shipping address, your products, the warehouses from where you want to ship your product, and also you can edit the address if you see any mistakes. On the right side, you can select a courier. If you're planning to use a courier that we do not have as an integration, maybe a third-party logistic company, you can use the manual shipment where you will just need to enter the carrier service name. If you're using Amazon shipping service and the tracking number, and you can create a basic shipping label that can help you ship with a third-party logistics company. If you're a dropshipper and you want your supplier to ship the product for you, you can select this option. Also, you can have multiple presets, but in this case, let's go with an integrated courier. In my case, I have Royal Mail. Have in mind, it's just a test account. Let's click on it, and the first thing you will see that you need to select the weight, length, height, and width and you would need to input these numbers. If you don't want to input them manually every single time, because it can be time consuming, you can have a package preset. In my case, you can see I have quite a few already created, but for this demo, let's create a completely new one. I can enter a name, let's call it demo123. I can set it as a default. If I click yes, every time I ship this package will be selected automatically and I can input the dimensions. Let's do it like this, 20, 20, height, let's do it 15, and let's do the weight one kilogram and click save. By the way, in the weight, length, height, and width, at the moment I have the metric system, but in settings, you can easily select imperial units if you're using those. Right now, after this package was created, let's select it, it will automatically input everything in the correct positions. And now from Royal Mail, we received the delivery types. Because I'm sending this package to the United Kingdom, the delivery types will be internal, not international, but just internal because it is an in-house shipment and all my delivery types will be in-house. Let's select the package delivery type that I want. Uh, have in mind, we will have first class, second class, insured, not insured, everything that that particular courier offers you. If it's going to be DPD, UPS, or FedEx, definitely you will see different delivery types. Let's select the one we need. The parcel will be automatically selected by the weight. And right here, you would see the cost of the shipment. So let's buy the shipment. It takes a couple of seconds and the shipping will be generated, as you can see right here. And now I can just prepare the label. As you can see, the label generation was requested, and in just a few moments, I can print it out right here. I click on it, and it generates me the shipping label, and I also have selected a picking list together with the shipping label. Now let's presume I don't need the picking list together with the shipping label. What should I do? If I would go to settings right here and click on shipping, and if I scroll a little bit down, you will find label formats. Right here, as you can see, I have a four by six label selected with a picking list. But let's imagine I just need the label. So I would select a different format. It will be automatically selected by aligning the blue line above it and now I can just go back to my orders and I can print out the new shipping label. If I go to shipped items, because from the new section, that item is no longer here. We just shipped it. So it moved to the shipped section. I can find it right here, the order number 77. I can print it and I will see now only the shipping label, not the packing list with it. After you create a shipping label and the shipping label is generated, 
with it the tracking code is also generated and it will be automatically sent to your marketplace in this case once we shipped the order number 77 it generated us a tracking code and we can view the shipment we can see the tracking code and it was automatically sent to WooCommerce in my case as you can see I have two shipments of course it's because of the demo purposes and I have shipped this item multiple times in your case you would have only one box right here now let's continue and go to bulk shipping now with bulk shipping we have a couple of rules we need to understand bulk shipping allows you to ship multiple orders at once once you are selecting the same delivery type as a simple example united states and united kingdom will have completely different delivery types because united kingdom will have internal delivery types and united states will have international delivery types so i cannot ship these two orders together with bulk shipment because they will have different delivery types also some couriers as royal mail they have different delivery types by the weight or by the size of the package so if i want to do a bulk shipment i have to know that those items or those orders that i'm selecting will use the same delivery type if it's a yes then i can definitely do bulk shipping i will give you a simple example let's ship all these four items together because they're all from the united kingdom and let's imagine i can do the same delivery type with all four of them and right here on top we can see bulk shipment let's click on it and as you can see on the left side all of the orders are selected we can expand them just to double check if the items are correct or the shipping address is correct and we can expand all of them if we need now let's do the same process as we did before by selecting royal mail then we need to select the package let's select the same package we had before the one we created for demo purposes and now when we will be selecting the delivery type we will need to select only one so that's what i was saying all of these four orders should be available to do with the same delivery type if it's a yes then you can do bulk shipping you would see the cost right here again we just click buy shipment it takes a little bit of time to create them as you can see one by one they will be created all of these tracking codes will automatically go to the marketplace right now as you can see i selected four woocommerce uh, orders but in your case you can have ebay amazon etsy shopify all of them can be from different marketplaces and the tracking codes will go to the correct marketplace so you don't need to worry about that it will happen automatically and on your marketplace the order status will change from order to shipped as well automatically you don't need to go to your marketplace and change that manually as you can see all of the shipping labels have been created and now i can prepare them one by one or prepare all of them let's click all of them the label generation was requested as you can see quite fast it was created and i can click print right now and as you can see one two three and four shipping labels have been created i can print them out by clicking right here and selecting my printer and just sticking them on the box and all of these four orders will move to the shipped section we can demonstrate that by just refreshing the page now they're not visible here but in the shipped section they are visible very easily they're right here and if i want i can reprint those shipping labels if let's say your printer did a mistake or it was out of ink or something you can print them as many times as you need regarding these generated requests if you go right here on shipping you will see everything that was requested and generated by the time and as you can see i did four orders the status is done and if i want i can download the 
left link one more time to get back to where I was before. So right here on top, you can see all of your requested shipping labels. Also right here, you will find the Royal Mail manifest. So it is quite easy to navigate through multi-orders. The last thing that I would like to mention is if a mistake happens. Let's imagine on this order, let's select this one as an example. You have three products inside. You have pants white, another pants white, and a cap. But mistakenly, you shipped these two pants, but forgot to put in the box the cap. What should you do? You can always open that order and just add a shipment. Now, once you are sending these items, you will just need to create a package and adjust the size and the weight how much that one product would be and then select the delivery type and create a completely new shipment in this case your you will have a completely new tracking code only for that item and you can ship that product to your customer if by mistake you just forgot to put that inside the box and it's and your customer will definitely be happy that he received all the items of course it will be in different boxes but the order will be fulfilled now let's imagine that you would like to select different packages as we did from the shipping section if we go back to shipping as you can see all of your packages are right here and you can edit them remove them set them as default or just create completely new ones I highly suggest looking at settings and shipping and go through it one by one to look if you have multiple warehouses, if the default measure units are correct. You can, you know, as I said, select the imperial units, then the packages, shipping presets if you have any label formats, as well if you're using Amazon, you can turn on Amazon MCF. If you're using drop shipping, you will find it here, shipping labels. If you want to your order items to be visible on the labels, document settings when you're printing delivery notes, picking lists, and as well, order boxes or in-progress status. About in-progress status, we spoke in a previous video, so do watch it. It's a very useful function to have when you don't want us to update your marketplace when you create a shipping label. Always remember that on the top right corner, we have this little question mark, which you can click and you will be redirected directly to our uh, Q&A section about integrations, orders, inventory, etc. Here you will find tutorial guides how to correctly integrate any of your sales channels as well. And as I said previously, if you have any questions, just write directly to our live chat or give us a call and we will help you with the process of the integration. I hope this video was useful and as always, have a nice day.